According to a recent Ministry of Finance Gazette announcement, firms that provide services connected to virtual digital assets, including cryptocurrencies, will henceforth be subject to the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. This means providing services related to trading in VDA effect, VDA VDA or storing and managing VDA will be dealt with under the PMLA. The announcement stated participation in and supply of financial services relating to an issuer's offer and sale of a virtual digital asset. For the purpose of this notification, the term virtual digital asset shall have the same meaning as defined in Clause 47A of Section 2 of the Income Tax Act 1961. Failure to pay TDS on crypto transactions or crypto transactions if the payment is partially or entirely in kind under Section 194S1 might result in a seven-year prison sentence. Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman promised 30% income tax on profits from the sale of VDAs including cryptocurrencies and NFTs in the union budget for 2022-2023. Moreover, a 1% tax deducted at source was imposed on the transfer of VDAs under Section 194S of the Income Tax Act.